YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. AMD falls 8.6%. So thank you guys for tuning in to the Life Changing Finances YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So AMD, 15%. So is it time to buy? Yes or no? Let me know what you guys think in the comment below. Now, off the, off the top, so I really do like this thought, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. There is something that, that really worries me, but it may or may not be a big deal to you. <clears throat> so when I look at this, AMD has a PE ratio of 307.09. So typically, this means that the stock is well overbought. Now, after today's uh, sell-off, I'm sure the numbers would probably readjust from that point. So let's talk about, you know, for me, where I would see this thing as a buy, okay? So I'm going to uh, put in, in my chart here, AMD, and you guys let me know. Did you guys day trade this thing uh, today, swing trade? Let me know how your day went today, okay? So when we look at this thing from the one-day chart, okay, so we can see at the bottom we have a, a 116 at the bottom. So this thing was 116 uh, at December 6th of 2023. So it's had a, a massive run-up since then, okay? So what I'm going to do is put some uh, levels of support here. So here's one at about uh 168 so we've we've come under that and then there's another one at about here so 138 so we've got a level of consolidation around 138 now for me when it comes to a, a long term play on AMD there's two ways you can go about this and I don't give financial advice so I know AMD is Oh, never mind. I'm not even going to go into that. So the first thing you could do is you could dollar cost average. Um, you would just keep throwing money in there. Maybe you set up uh, something where you put $5 a day in there or $5 a week, whatever you decide to do, and you just let it run. You put it in, a, in an account or a brokerage that you're, you just don't even look at. Okay. And the second thing you could do, which is what I'm going to do, not giving financial advice, is I'm going to wait till this thing hit, gets to about 138, and then I'm going to start buying, okay? So not necessarily dollar cost averaging, but I'm going to be buying multiple shares at a time uh, if and when it hits about the 138 mark, okay? So that's the way I, I, I'm viewing it. Now, for you guys that have been dollar cost averaging on this thing, how has that Sorry, I had to sneeze there. How has that been going for you? You guys have been dollar cost averaging. If you guys bought at the top, okay, did you guys put a stop loss? Let, let me know in the comments below. If you bought a, a bought in at AMD at the, at the top thinking it was just going to keep going up, did you put a stop loss at 200, 215? Let me know in the comments below, okay? So from this perspective, those are the, the only two options for me. Dollar cost averaging, maybe starting out if that was something I was going to do. But for me, I'm waiting till this thing comes down a little bit more and uh, more preferably at 138. Maybe at 138, since we have a level of consolidation, we'll bounce back up to maybe, you know, 165 or something like that. Who knows? But that's where I would start buying long term. All right. So. That's what I got for you guys today. Uh, let me know. Is this a buy for you? What are your buy levels? What are your strategies for getting into this thing? What are your exit strategies? Are you using stop losses when it comes to uh, AMD? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. We're out. Peace.